Have you ever wondered why Pluto, once our proud ninth planet, was suddenly kicked out of the solar system's planetary lineup? For more than 75 years, Pluto was part of every classroom model, every space chart, and every kid's imagination. But in 2006, everything changed. Before we dive in, make sure to hit subscribe, because space has stories even stranger than this one. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by an American astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh. It was small, icy, and distant, orbiting nearly 6 billion kilometers from the sun. For decades, we accepted it as the final planet of our solar system. But as telescopes got stronger, astronomers started finding other frozen worlds out beyond Neptune in a region called the Kuiper Belt. And one discovery changed everything, a world named Eris, found in 2005. Eris was roughly the same size as Pluto, maybe even a little bigger. Suddenly, astronomers had a problem. If Pluto was a planet, wouldn't Eris be one too? And what about the hundreds of other icy objects out there. That's when scientists decided they needed to define exactly what makes a planet a planet. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, came together and made three simple rules. A planet must orbit the sun, it must be round, and it must clear its orbit of other debris. Pluto passed the first two rules, but failed the third. Its orbit crosses Neptune's path, meaning it shares its neighborhood with other icy bodies. So by that definition, Pluto was officially reclassified as a dwarf planet. The decision sparked outrage. Students protested, scientists debated, and bring back Pluto even trended worldwide. But scientifically, it made sense. Pluto is now seen as the first known dwarf planet, a representative of a whole new family of icy worlds beyond Neptune. So Pluto didn't really lose its status. It helped us redefine what a planet truly is. It's a reminder that science isn't about holding on to old ideas. It's about discovering new truths. And who knows? As we explore deeper into the Kuiper Belt, we might just find a new Planet 9 waiting to be discovered. So tell me, do you think Pluto still deserves to be called a planet?